Alright, uh, hello and welcome to my playthrough of Receiver 2. Uh, didn't really miss much. Uh, I just started the game. Um, I bought it on Steam for not too much money and I thought it was a good um, game to try and play through because it seems really interesting. Also, I know the clicking of my keyboard is really annoying. Uh, thank you. you can thank Razor for that. It's a good game. Ooh. Okay, um, yeah, the, basically the premise of this game that I've got so far is um, you woke up in your house or apartment and um, there's like these turrets, uh, kill bots or something they're called. And they just seem to want to shoot you, and that's basically all I know. I got a tape that explains some story, and a revolver, and you can also hack turrets by not doing that, by being a little better. You can lightly tap them and keep them in the, the range of the hack, and they break like that. But, uh... Yeah, there's not much else I've experienced so far. Like I maybe played like three or four minutes of gameplay. So the rest you're seeing. It is vital that you know that you are not dreaming. This is real. This is the time you have prepared for. All right, I'm preparing for something. I'll go turn on subtitles. Um, I feel like I remember something about Polybus. I, f uh, what, what, what is this about? I feel like it's like some fictional game that had like some sort of um, I don't know what the word is but the glitch. I don't remember. I'm dumb. Just, I, I remember something about it. I don't remember as of right now. Also, it doesn't seem like there is a subtitle button. So I'll just be super quiet whenever they talk. Yeah, there is something to do with Polybus. I don't remember what it was. But it's a, it's got a, a story behind it that that much I know desperate gods don't know that one I know what overgrowth is I'm assuming that's the developers that made it it's their other game either that or it's just a nice reference to it turning on some lights that's there's some really great lights we got some bullets like progress. I don't know if I want to progress right now. No, I'm done exploring yet, of course. Gotta, gotta explore. And dying from stuck. Okay. Okay, so note to self those lights are really shitty. What was that? That's that's a tile. There's a tile on the floor. This also seems like progress. We'll go here since there's nowhere else to go. I have absolutely no idea what's going on. Oh, also, I did figure out that the are, um, what you missed from the start was there are these balloons you can walk into and they give you bullets for guns and whatnot. I only have the one gun as of right now, and the controls are really interesting because they, they made it so that the game is actually what is going on? What is that? The game is more realistic. Oh, I didn't mean to click that. Whoopsie. 
is wasting all my ammo here. I'll take that off for a second. Actually, I might. No, I'll take it off. If I need help, I'll just open it again. Um. So yeah, I really don't know anything about this game. Um. Other than the fact that like it's interesting. I have literally no idea what's happening. I don't know the plot. So, we'll figure it out. Oh shit. Oh, that's nice. Okay, let's just avoid that. It's... Excuse my clicky clacking, but it's the only sprint in this game. No, it's really annoying. I'm trying to get another computer. like maybe six feet a little more this is a flashlight escape your flashlight is sturdy and dependable and a helpful tool in dark environments is especially useful to help find supplies in dark areas which would otherwise be easily overlooked but please be aware that some enemies can spot you from farther away when you use the flashlight okie dokie good to know Away too. Oh, how do I? How do I put that away? One. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That's cool. That's really neat. I like the way that they did the inventory in this game. So I'm assuming. Since they said some enemies are going to uh, be able to see you in the light, that some other enemy is going to get introduced. Oh, that can sense you in the light. How am I supposed to do this? Let's just parkour. Oh. Okay, that works surprisingly well. Um, actually, I will be reading the notes as well just so um, it finally happened day one it was true the mind kill the threat it was all true but I barely started my receiver training I'm not prepared yet I can no longer train with my fellow receivers in the compound now what I guess I need to figure this stuff out somehow but for that I need to stay alive this is it the big moment this is why I joined the receivers the threat is certain to interfere with our supply chain. It's likely that most of our transmissions will be incomplete and off target. We need to make sure that we get through, get enough through. We must send at least 10 times what the survivors will need and must focus all of our training on this mind tactic. Unfortunately, this means we cannot survive the mind kill ourselves. Remember what we are fighting for, even though we will lose our bodies in reality B. We will continue to exist in the radiant life of reality a so that's interesting um that means that there is two realities in this world i don't know what that means but uh yeah uh if this disc is not blank it means you have survived the mind kill if you have no memory of what happened do not be alarmed we expected this and prepared for this eventually we did our best to send you sufficient supplies and guidance, but the rest is up to you alone. Your path is a difficult one, full of hardships and setbacks. Even though you have forgotten, you have spent years training with the receiver virtues of perseverance, discipline, courage, and we know what it takes. Remember that we are still watching you from Reality A, and we will never give up on you. So I'm guessing this is Reality B, where everything is messed up. Uh, out of time. All signs indicate that mind kill is imminent. The threat has been abandoned 
subtly, in the infiltration of the media, our society, of our bodies, there is no longer any doubt. This is the time we are prepared for. Receivers who have volunteered for cash duty, now is the time to focus on your mind tech to ensure that the guidance and supplies reach those who survive. If you received this message after the mind kill, please accept our aid and ensure that our sacrifice was not in vain. Lewis, uh, that is 111. Now is that saying it? No, that's, I have 111. I'm alone. So this is the world now. All weird connections, broken skies, and messed up sounds. Oh, and it's full of things that want to kill me and all of the other receivers. Thing is, I haven't seen any other receivers. I always thought during training that we would fight this thing together. Like a family, they said. But they're all gone, just like my little girl. I don't know if I can do this thing alone. Yoga in the park. Somehow, I thought I was out of the warrior business. I showed up for free yoga in the park to try something new. I sure as hell looked out of place with all my tattoos and buzz cut. But there was something below the surface I knew I had in common with these people. I had seen them in the park a few times on my morning jog. The way they moved. The look in their eyes. Like people in a combat zone. Alright mofos. Also, Mongoose Strikes. You got me. I ain't ever gonna make it to the elite receiver's ranks, am I? Guess I really knew this all along. Never did get that whole mind tech thing. Not really. I mean, sure. I got me some zen chops when I need them. And certain stoic prowess. But as some of my buddies used to say, but much of that's my stunt training. I had trouble reading that for some reason. It got me through this far. At least I didn't get mine killed. But now I'm stuck. Truth bites. What can you do? So what's a gal supposed to do? Well, I ain't a metal phys metaphysical genius, but it's been established. That's been established. But that don't mean I can't provide other receivers with useful intel, right? I figure since I'm pretty good at taking a hit and rolling with the punches, and since it seems I really can't die here, I should be true to my nature and treat this place. What's in uh, quotations? What some of y'all call the dreaming. Like an opportunity to test myself and help others. Here's the deal. I'll try anything too dangerous for other receivers to do. I'll be that dumbass that gets in all stupid places, tries the dumbest shit, gets killed over and over again, but hopefully learns a few tricks in the process. And because I'm generous and shit, I'll record that and share it all for you. Mongoose Strikes. That's my name, too. Fancy pants for me. The name is Maggie. Well, thank you, Maggie. And also, we have some tapes to listen to. It as is well. vital that you know. Oh, sorry. I will. It is vital that you know that you are not dreaming. This is real. This is the time you have prepared for. Okay. When the mind kill comes, you will likely have forgotten everything about your own life before entering the post mind kill environment. But everything that has become intuition, everything you've made a part of your inner self, the threat is unable to erase. Therefore, it's important to train until the training becomes so natural that you give it no thought. Correct usage of your firearm has to become as natural as breathing for there to be any chance of success. Okay, so that's exciting. Um, also, I forgot to mention, but on Steam, this game was advertised as a gun safety. You have seen the signs around you. The gradual creeping, decay, and dysfunction. You have realized that something is wrong with the media and the people around you. You know that you are different. This is why you are ready to become a receiver. You have been issued a series of audio cassette tapes that are part of our system for advancing insight. 
by continually listening to these tapes, you will drown out and eventually counteract the negative influences from your environment. Once you have absorbed these tapes, you will have taken the first step towards awakening your true self. The media is a threat. We have a technique to help. We use tapes as part of this technique. You must listen to them to advance. Okay, so... I don't know what's up with that, but, uh... Reaching my true self? Are we playing Persona 4 out here? But, uh, also, that guy kind of sounds like G-Man from, uh... Half-Life, and I don't know if that's intentional or not, but damn if he does. Hey, another note. Henry, it bothers me. Something doesn't add up. All those years of training, all the tapes we listened to, all the times we talked about what would happen after the mind kill, and now that it's here, it feels off. Something doesn't seem quite right. I can't put my finger on it. Maybe I'm going crazy. I mean, everybody I've ever known in love is just gone. But I'm not feeling it the way I should be feeling it. I feel empty. Numb. What's happening to me, Henry? I have no idea, Henry. If I could help you, I would. Alright, we got a repair bench of shorts. Nothing really of note here. I wish I could bind sprint. Wait, this is me? This is me. I am a walking sign. Like a walking bullet target. Seriously? Okay, that's interesting. I hear a boy. What the fuck? It's common knowledge that some needs are a higher priority than others. People note that in order to pursue some, others must be fulfilled first. They frame the complex situation using a, a simple, unrealistic example. It's like how you can't be happy if you don't have air to breathe. <laughs> well, these simplifications are used to hide more complex truths. That the body sustains the mind, and the mind sustains the body. The most present needs are in the domain of the mind. Without baseline function of thought, you can find yourself without the will to move or eat. Strengthening the mind by developing focus and resilience is the goal of a technique we call mind tech. Hmm. Alright, well I thought I was going to be able to get in since I shot that, but no. So, uh, yeah. Hold on, let me see if I can rebind that sprint key, just so it's not super loud in your ears. So I know that's not exciting. I know my keyboard's Loud. If I find it true. Okay, that does like nothing. Still only W. W. Ooh, right, this guy. Just ignore him and he'll go away. That's gonna kill me if I go down there, probably. Let's just keep running forward, I guess. Go to the other place that's you like progress. It's got a bunch of death skulls, so that's not cool. In the face of regret, understand that there was no other way that events could have played out. All you can do is learn from the experience and move on. Experience and move on. Okie dokie. Where's this dude? I feel 
like that the fact we're in an arcade though. That's cool. Oh, was this where I was? Yeah, this is where I was. Wait. No? Yes? Yes. Just they turned back on somehow. So I guess it's time to see what's up the ladder. Don't really need that right now. Oh yeah, that dude. Is this the other place I went? Or is this the other place that would like progress? No, this is the other place that looked like rock. <gasps> And now I'm dead. That's what I get for trying to close my gun. Do I have to restart? Oh. Okay. Give me a. Give me a few while you uh, re redo that. Okay. Bye. All right. I decided that I'm gonna keep talking. Because, uh, yeah. Okay. Um, because I guess I still have to experience what the frick is going on here. What does R do? What am I doing when I do this? Ooh, how did it not save me? Well, let's be real here. Since I destroyed the epic box, it doesn't have a, hey, this guy's trying to fuck with me sensor anymore. That's good to know. Oh. Well, you know, I think that it's actually might be where uh, I wrap it up, because I'm bad. So I figure, why not restart this next time? And, uh, you know, when I'm not the worst at this game? Yeah, I think that'd be a good idea. Anyways, um, thank you all for watching. Look forward to a, or don't, you know, look forward to a episode of this again soon. Whenever I decide to do that, I will let you know. Okay, uh, let's talk to you later. Bye.